Okay, guys, here's an update. Um, I figured out why the slow cranking was happening. This ground, for whatever reason, my dad by accident hooked it up to the alternator, which was draining it and causing some type of electrical power withdrawal that wasn't letting it crank. That's one. Um, you guys already addressed that. I did fix the leaky fuel injector by putting this band here. We managed to do some custom work here because I'm no longer using where the AFM from the old system was hooked up to. This is where I hooked my coiled, coiled up. Um, for cranking, right, as you guys can see, that blue wire right there, that needs to be connected to the negative side of your coil for your RPM to work. Right, you guys can see. Uh, let me see. Let me turn on the light so you guys can see how easy it cranks now. having to get this um block off plate since i don't have power steering if you guys are doing this swap and your car does have power steering you don't need that uh i did buy this front plate here but obviously since my spark plug wires are running to the front you don't really see it but i guess money well spent right um i have to work on wiring my two electric fans um I'm not too sure how that's gonna work yet since I've told that they draw a lot of power. So I need to actually, you know, they have to be wired and have their separate relay. And then the temperature sensor, which I'm gonna most likely connect the relay over here to the starter where all the other stuff is connected to. That's the last 12 volts since I don't have batteries here. I don't have a battery here. This is what's here. But yes, when the car turns on, I still have to connect my wide band. I did change this gasket that my car, my downpipe was leaking as you can see. 